Hi everyone, and welcome to Power Plays. I'm Harry, and today we're playing Two Point Hospital. We're going to get that first star on Pelican Wharf. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you watch my last two videos on Pelican Wharf. Um, it's building the foundations uh, for the hospital, just to make sure that we can do star two and star three relatively easy. So as you can see, we need to cure 100 patients, get our cure rate up to 60%, train three staff and research three which we've done already and upgrade 50 machines which were at nine so we've not got that much cash at the moment um but that's all gonna change relatively soon i hope anyway we're getting some our machines upgraded which is great let me just check that all our prices are sky high yes they are Hopefully we'll get some nice bit of money from this. I'm going to get this upgraded to level 3, which is going to put us at upgrade 10 machines. Oh, refuse to pay. Ah, happens. Um, but we're doing pretty good. Go in here. See how happy the staff are with pay. It's bump it up a bit. There we go. I'm curious it's not doing too bad. Got a bit of a queue here, but I think that's just because the second GP wasn't in the office. And we're GP down because we're doing the training here. Oh, we got a, a little promo there. And we got some staff to train too. So let's get this one trained in GP level 2 and let's get one of these guys to do it. I should be able to pick him up, yeah, and then just drop him in here because I don't want to be getting too many cues. There we go, getting the money back in. We don't have a recovery room, so I'm not going to take that. That research is going to be done soon, so that's going to be a nice 20k. And you can see that machine got upgraded. So we're now 10 out of 15. So let's have a quick look at what staff we've got to hire. Nothing there, nothing there. And let's just have a look at what staff we've got. So at the moment we've got two GP rooms, four GPs, more than enough. We've got a psychiatry and two psychiatrists, all good. We haven't built a DNA lab yet and we have one treatment doctor. Whereas you can see here, we're going to have at least six treatment rooms, so we're going to need quite a few. From a nurse perspective, we have the ward and the fracture ward, and we have five ward nurses. I personally would like just one more, but they can handle it with just that. We've got our pharmacy and our injection room covered with two apiece, and we have three treatment nurses, and in total we're going to have four rooms, so we could do with just another room. And our next room we're going to build is either going to be the clown clinic or the pest control room. So I can't afford any just yet, but what's it? How big does this have to be? Four by four. And so is the clown clinic. It's quite big as well. What I can do then is I can just pick up this room. I can fit that in nicely here. And then we'll be able to fit one of the larger rooms just here. I could also actually move some of these just around just slightly um, and it'll make it easier just to fit all the treatment rooms uh, for nurses anyway in one place. I could easily just put that essentially here and I could put the other one there and it will still create a decent amount of space. So. Keep an eye out for treatment doctors and treatment nurses. That's what we're looking out for. And we get a, we're getting a decent amount of profit. I'm going to get that training done. Perfect. And what I'm going to do... Uh, I'm not going to have the money, I do not think. Ideally... 
I don't want him to be trained by this guy because we haven't got that many. So that would completely put our psychiatry out. And you can see a bit of a queue at the moment. So for now, let's train someone else. Do a ward nurse. We can do the research. Quite a few. I'm actually gonna. Can I afford this? I think I can. No. Close, close though. I should. I'm gonna be able to afford it very, very soon. And since we're gonna be doing a lot of machine upgrades, it kind of makes sense to make sure that we're um, upgrading our mechanic as much as possible just because then it will fly by each upgrade. Let's hope for some cures. Hear all the dinging, so hopefully making some money here. Yay! Nice 20k there. Okay, you see all our nurses are busy. We definitely need more treatment nurses. And we, as soon as we make a bit more money, we're going to be hiring this doctor because that will be a, a great uh, treatment doctor. This week, I headed to the Pointy Mountains for my Sir Nigel Reviews segment. So hopefully, any time now. The Hotel, there I we must go. Warn you, be prepared to hear typewriter noises throughout oh, the night. As if that weren't bad enough. Get them straight in for treatment training. And ghosts everywhere. Hardly a restful oh, perfect, stay we got the next level of mechanics done. Oh, I'm glad we got that done just in time there. Uh, we got a 180. Actually, I'm going to get this doctor to do it, although it's going to be slightly slower. Um, definitely get that one because he's not doing anything at all. So, can definitely take the time out to do it. And uh, let me just make sure that this doctor is only on treatments. Perfect. We should get 20k here. Happy days. And hopefully, we'll win some awards. Again, always getting best research hospital. I hope I'm getting best teaching hospital as well. Yeah, we're, we're getting a solid four at the moment. And to be honest, not great. I'm not too happy about that. But we will get there. I'm confident in that. Now, what I would like to do is build some more treatment rooms. So, what? We have one, two three treatment nurses at the moment for the two rooms and we've got two treatment doctors for the one room so we can definitely get another treatment room in and let's go for the clown clinic although have we seen that many clowns i don't think we've actually seen that many clowns have we let's have a look what are people it's a head head office there have a look. Yeah, let, let's do a head office. If we can afford it. No, we can't. Some patient for treatment. DNA lab. Go oh, well, my ward nurses. Get in there. Okay. Definitely can now. Let's get a head office in. And then that'll be another machine that we can start upgrading. Let's dip the door here. Let's get them right in that corner there. Just so that the patient doesn't have to go too far. Because they're going to go on this platform. So they don't have to go too far when they first come in. Let's get the gold stars down. Here we go. A few more. There we go. And we'll still got enough money to get another upgrade on. Hopefully that won't take too long. 
I think a pest control could go nicely here. So I know I, we can't afford it, but we should be able to just put it to speak to the janitor about it. In fact, there. I should it still gives us a two, two corridor here. The county's health and safety inspector, and so you can see we're quite a bit in debt there. Let you know so we do need to keep an eye on the amount of money that I'm spending. I seem to be spending like it's going out of fashion. We'll be getting 20k from there at least. Let's get this one in for research three. There we go. And hopefully we're going to cure some people, get some monies in. Hands lab. Okay, we've got Doctor going. We've got that upgraded, so we now only have four more machine upgrades to do. So we'll essentially do this one again. Um, that's going to get us to um, 12, and then two more rooms, and it should do it. Still not too worried about the money situation yet. I hope a good couple of cures will come in and we'll start getting that back in the right direction. There we go, 17k there. And let's have, there we go, a pans lab pandemic. That'll be great. See our best treatment doctor? I think so. Yeah. So I just want to make sure that we're treating people as quickly as possible. So that's why I'm just micromanaging my staff a bit more than I would usually. And we've hit our cure 100 patients. So that's great news. We've got Turtle Head, a new illness. So I'm just going to make sure our prices are sky high. And my bad that I should have paused as soon as we got um, into positive cash. And then um, built a uh, or started a research. Should have paused there, so that was my miss. But hopefully we'll get through these fairly quick. We should make a decent amount of cash from it. That's a great thing about pan uh, not pandemic. Yeah, pandemics. Um, is that when you get these emergencies? Oh no, pandemic is the illness. It's a good thing about the emergencies is that it's a quick spot of cash. So one more of these, I should be able to pause it just there. Start this. And let's see what other training we've got available. Quite a bit. Quite a bit to be done, but I don't want to be spending too much money to do it. So let's get this one trained in Ward 3. Let's get the research doctors in. Don't you guys be slacking on me. Got a new illness, so I always make sure I put all the prices up. To do one more to pass. Get a nurse straight in there. Ah, so we're going to pass that emergency, which is great. Curate was up for a, for a small bit then as well. And let's get that upgrade on the go. Said that's then going to put us at 12 machines and two more rooms, and it'll do it. Let's just keep an eye out for what rooms we want to be doing next. And let's start it again. This train is going to be done too. Check if we've got any decent to hire. 
Yeah, we got another nurse. Another treatment nurse. Which is going to be perfect. So let's get them tagged only for treatment. Oh. So what, we've now got four treatment nurses. So one, maybe two more max. But that's great. That's great to get that sorted. And we can think about what room to build next. Now, I... Well, we've got, a, we've got enough treatment nurses, so I think it would make more sense to do the clown clinic than to do a, a treatment room which required a doctor. So let's stick that there. Let's get that in the corner. I think I've been slacking on the fire experiment, just come to think about it. Wow. I really have. Wow. Yeah. My bad. Absolutely my bad. Oh, a few. I've got one in there. I mean, technically you should have one in here as well, but it's not really often that those machines get so bad that you need a fire extinguisher. So we've got one in there as well. Got one in there. All right. Let's fill a large radiator in. Get the gold stars down. And we should be able to... How, how many times do I do that? We should be able... There we go. To get a um, this tagged for an upgrade. Literally just in the nick of time there. Oh, it could not have been timed any better. So yeah, we need to be getting some more patients coming in. Problem is, we've got a lot of staff, and maybe we're not getting the patients. So it might be time to lower the prices a bit. It might bring some more patients in, um, sort our reputation out a bit. We'll see. Not too worried about it for now. So that's going to be upgrade number 12. This will be upgrade number 13. There'll be one more to make it 14. So then we're just one more room away. And it'll be done. So we got another treatment. Training, the treatment level two. Let's get this nurse to do it. It'll be quicker. That right, research done. Ooh, why is there no doctor in the psychiatry? Get in there. And in the ward. And you can see sending those patients home just hits our cure rate up a bit, which is why it cancels a no cure. So it's why our cure rate's not been great because we've not had all the rooms, so we're having to send quite a lot of patients home, which is then in turn affecting our cure rate. It'd be great to get the, this one trained. Da -da -da. Music really gets stuck on my head in this game. So let's make sure this guy's rested. Uh, there we go. He's rested. Can now drop in there. Could really do with a, another emergency. Send them over. Let's see what happens here.
Refuse to pay, that is not ideal. This should be nearly done. Yeah, perfect. We just really want to make sure that we've got staff in the rooms getting those treatments done as soon as possible. So I we need another 20k here. The county's health and safety inspector to report two point radio research done. Pause. I was told he's too busy visiting hospitals. I suggest the get that started and then come all the way back over here and get another upgrade on the go. Again, just in the nick of time. In fact, there's no one actually going in there. So, in terms of so treatment doctors, we got two, and we got two rooms. Oh, what's this? What's this? Clan clinic. Yes. So where's our best treatment nurse? This one. I'm gonna keep you held. It'd be great if this can be done in time, but I don't think it will. No, it's not going to be. So I'm just going to pick them up for now, and they can carry on. This should be great for our monies. So actually, I'm just putting all the prices up for Jess Infection. There we go. General research done. No, don't want you in here for now. So, send you all the way over here. Why, why is there a queue? Yeah, I didn't really think there was a queue. Hopefully we can get this done. Promise your mom vacation as well. Another 18k there. This guy, man, he re he really wants to do this upgrade, and I shouldn't really be too mad at him. So, keep holding for now. Let's pause it. Get that done. Is there any trainings we could be doing? Probably. I really need to get this one trained. In the extra psychiatry, that is. I actually want these two to train each other. <laughs> so that'll be a bit of a pain. Yeah, I'll have no one no one in training for now. Hopefully we can get these the these all cured, fish at the two point and, two point and then we can build another room. Just like you. Two point this is two point radio. Oh, this, this guy he just won't stop, and I can't be mad at him to do it because we need the upgrade. But we really need to train one more person. Uh, train. We need to cure one more clown. I should say, that wouldn't be a good look having the clowns running around because of the ghost. Alright, I'm going to pause it there and have a look at what rooms we have left. We do have pest control left. I can... So, 
can't fit there. Won't fit there either. So I think I'm going to be... Uh, no, it won't fit there because of that door placement. Door was over there. would be fine. So I think we're going to be done for this area. But I think what I will do is instead... I'm going to move this and I'll explain why in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have all of the doctor treatment rooms in one building and then all of the nurse treatment rooms in another building. This means that we can get away with having slightly less uh, staff and they can quickly move between um, the relevant treatment rooms. So I have space here for a pest control. 4x4. Four four. I'm going to stick the door at the end here. I can stick that there. Don't forget my fire extinguisher. Get a radiator in. And then get some gold stars. I really like the pest control treatment. The clown clinic and the pest control are probably my two favorite illnesses. Because people just walk in with animal magnetism um, stuck to them. So just infection and animal magnetism are the two. I just love the fact that people walk in with animals stuck to them and that you blow them off using a air cannon. And then here, you make clowns less happy by um, showing them pictures or sad images. So I've cured four of them, so I'm kind of fine leaving them. Their, you know, their health is this quite is fine, so I'm am going to pass the um, radio. the circus incident, <laughs> the uh, emergency. The show with this so I'm just going to leave it for now and just let them do that upgrade. So you can see there, four out of seven. Get some cash from it. So I'm going to zip over here. Start this again. Zip back. That's going to put us on to 14 out of the 15 machines. And then very, very shortly, I'm going to, there we go, get this one off and running. So let's pick them up, stick them in here. Hopefully we just make some quick cash and get some cures in. We need to be at 12 out of 20 to um, hit the 60% mark. Again, just the four. Get us a bit of cash. So we're currently at 7 out of 20. So hopefully we're going to hear a few dings. 8 out of 20. We need to get up to 12. So we just basically need to cure our next four patients. 9, 10... really like you to finish that 11 just really want you to finish it just because then we'll be bang on 15 done and done one after the other that was great timing so congratulations just has been awarded with a one star rating by the two point health ministry i may not understand all your newfangled gadgetry but i'm pleased to hear that you're putting it to good use continue modernizing the county for more rewards but go elsewhere and expand your organization so there we go. We have that first star. And as you can see, for the second star, fairly um, fairly straightforward. The same again, but cure 200 patients. Cure rate is 75%, so it's a bit higher. Train two staff and research level four and upgrade 50 machines. Now, we, we're not going to build that many rooms. So what is going to end up happening is that we're going to essentially end up selling or creating a dummy room, selling the machine, and then, um, oh, do I not have the money for that yet? 20K. Uh, we're gonna end up selling the machine and essentially continue that upgrade by process and just start it again. But you don't want it to be a room that you're actually using because then you're going to um, essentially 
ruin your chances, not ruin your chances, but lower your chances of uh, keeping your cure rate up nice and high. So in terms of rooms left to build, ah, there we go. So rooms left to build, let's come over here. So doctors wise, we need a deluxe clinic, we need a DNA lab. We need a shot clinic, a resolution lab, and a recovery. So one, two, three, four, five. Five rooms there. Nurses, we're all good. And remember, we're not building the surgery. So five rooms. Um, each machine gets upgraded twice. That's going to be 10 upgrades on the machines. Still then leaves us with five upgrades to get. So we will definitely need to sell. I'll probably do it in the pharmacy, but definitely sell a few and then um, get back up there. Yeah, all right. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you found this useful. Um, as I said, um, do make sure that you've watched episode one and two of this hustle because we are really all laying the foundations just to get that cash flow in because as you can see cash flow it's uh, it's quite hard in this in this hospital and doing it this way is just really going to make sure that we can set the foundations correct to get the second and third star don't forget to subscribe really appreciate everyone's support so far um, the channel's growing we're making our way over to 250 subscribers and thank you very much for everyone who keeps on liking all the videos commenting down below and to everyone who subscribed i'll catch you on the next episode bye for now